Weather alert. Incoming sandstorm. Warning. Sandstorm imminent. Find shelter. What is going on guys? Welcome back to Occupy Mars. Do you believe we are in the middle of a sandstorm currently? This is going to be fun. But um, yeah, I think what we'll do while the sandstorm's on going outside. Uh, it's just after 6 in the morning, or half past 6 actually. I, did, I think I slept a little bit longer than I should have, but that's fine. Alright, I guess what we'll do is we'll see where these guys are. Um, so a lot of these guys are ready to be moved out into the dorm. Um, like these guys are here. I think these guys should now be ready to be moved. Uh, yep. So what we'll do is we'll grab our plank crit. And we're going to start uh, moving these guys. And then when the sandstorm's over, we'll go out and clear the solar panels. We should have enough electricity to last us um, most of the day, to be fair. But uh, I think what we'll do first is we'll move these guys from here down into here. We don't have a lot of these, but uh, there we go. It's them taken care of. All right, just so they don't wither away, we'll... Uh, Turn all this on. So we're all good there. We're all good in the hood. Ooh, hello, like Spike. And we will also just shut this off here. And I guess what we'll do is we'll move them out into the dorm. Uh, these guys are ready to be picked though. So we'll start growing some of those. I guess what we'll do is we'll start moving these out into the dorm if we can. I forgot that these things really get in your way. you got to do some of this in third person. I think I can pick any more. No. Okay, we're full. Right, to the dorm we go. So we're putting our first crops out here in the dorm. Which is really cool. It's uh, a bit dark in here though. Because uh, we've currently got that sandstorm on going. Right, but uh, yeah, it starts. Um, not enough soil. Do I seriously not have enough soil in here? No, I do. So what I'll do is I'll put about 90 soil in here. That should be more than enough. So what we'll do is we'll start planting. Okay, what we'll do as well is I've actually forgot that there's a there's a way to actually get these things to actually grow really well. And that is to actually just give it um give it like 0 0.01 of a kilowatt. It turns on the lights. It turns on all the lights up, up high and it actually allows you to be able to see somewhat in here. It's nice. So there you go. Little trick for you. I forgot about that little trick. And especially like if it's like at night or if we're in the middle of like a sandstorm or something. It's uh, just make your life just that little bit easier. I can't see a chuffing thing. <laughs> you can take up that one. Yeah. I think what we'll do then is we'll just quickly turn this off just so we're not drawing a lot of power during the sandstorm we're drawing a little bit less power during the sandstorm okay so if I go third person and then hit number not number four, number three should be able to finish off planting these guys guess I don't have enough uh, not enough soil I'm going to have to knock the soil content a bit more. There we go. There should be more than enough. What we're doing here. Is there any more where I can put in like little small spots? Nope. There we go. They're all out. They should all be grown. Um, but what we'll do is we'll just knock up the water content and everything for them. Oh, looks like the sandstorm's almost over. That water content needs to go up. We'll knock the soil down to what we need it to be. And the rest should take care of everything else. Looks like those things are still spinning really fast, though. Oh, they must be spooling down. Yeah, they are. They're slowing down. Right. So, there's that sorted. Uh, I guess what we can do now, though is um i guess we'll pick these guys start getting them replanted and start growing the next generation of plants 
Now, my silly brain doesn't remember how many spaces we have here, so I think this is what we're limited to. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, six. So, six are long, three deep. So, three times six is. Yeah. Let's pick them. I did the math in my head, by the way. Uh, and that all off. We're not wasting stuff there, right? Okay, so we need to go to the seed modification station, which I think is turned off. It is indeed. Um, so what we'll do is we'll turn on the seed modification station. And we'll start making seeds. So we've got 30 of these bad boys. So let's split the stack. And I need that's 30 seeds. I don't need 30 seeds. I need oh crap, I forgot the number already. Um so I need uh twenty two. Um Yeah, do it by it. Sixteen Twenty-four. Uh, can I take one out? I might just only need one gone. Make me twenty-two. There you go. Twenty-two seeds exactly. Four left over. Well, more than four left over. So let's combine those. We've got eight left over. So we'll put those in where we need to put them. And these guys can just go in here for now. And they'll start making some good MREs. Right, what we'll do is we'll grab our um, seed gun and we'll go plant them so we know where we're putting them. Um, so I think they're going to go in here. Did I put that seed gun in my inventory? No, I didn't. I thought I did. I have now. Right, 22 lettuce. That's now been planted. I think I made a little bit too much. I think I need to make 20 from now on. I made a little bit too much. Right, three. Alright, we'll do that. Just by the time they come out, we should be fine. There we go. They're all good to go. And they can just incubate in there. It won't be that long in there anyway. Right, uh, what are you guys on? You guys are growing, so you're fine. Right, let's go outside, shall we, and uh, start cleaning off some solar panels. Yeah, that's everything in here, sort of sorted for now. We're growing. We're growing stuff. We're growing stuff. I'm on. I love the heavy suit, I really do. Right, let's go have a look. Um, things out here should be okay. Shouldn't be that covered, but um, we'll give them a we'll give them a bit of a string clean, I guess. Back to doing this again. It's fun, but uh, it can get old very fast. <laughs> To be fair, we should have generated enough power anyway during that storm to, uh, to sustain us, but uh, there's nothing like just giving the panels a good clean. Or we don't even really need to do this anymore, but I, I do like to do it. Just then I don't have to, especially while we're here. Um, it just makes my life, uh, well, I don't have to worry about this. Plus, it's a nice little relaxing task. Are we think about doing whatever we're going to do next? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, usually, I plan these out fairly well, actually. But uh, yeah, I think, um, I think we'll start looking at making some of the kilowatt power stuff. I think might be a good idea. 
a kilo power, whatever you call it. Um, I think I keep on saying the wrong name for that. I do apologize. But yeah, we'll go check out some of that. I think as well what we'll do is we'll try and see if we can get some of the mine stuff. Now we've got plenty of uranium as well, so we uh, we should be good on that front. But yeah, it's just mostly doing stuff around the base. I think tomorrow's episode we might start getting ready to head back out. But not exactly sure what I want to do yet. Maybe just go hunt down some of the uh, the meteorites we've got and. Stuff like that, maybe. That might be tomorrow's episode. Today's episode is just getting things prepped. Getting things nice and ready and producing power and stuff. I wonder if like the like uranium rods run out like after a certain period of time. I don't know I don't even know. I never even touched it. It's supposed to be like the nuclear update and I've uh, haven't even touched any of it yet. We're starting to get there though. We're actually, to be fair, we're on the doorstep of it. We're just sort of cleaning panels right now, just so we've got plenty of power coming into the base. By it's daylight, we might as well be making power. Yeah, I actually don't know how much the production's actually gone up since uh, since the last one. Since the last um, upgrade we got for the panels, we've now got more efficient panels too. So our panels are even more efficient than they were before, which is nice. So yeah, wonder if they get like uh, if they'll ever bring out things like uh, more efficient, um, like nuclear power and stuff like that. Might be cool. It's about to get really warm in this room. <laughs> anyway, what we'll do is we'll go clean these panels over here. Uh, just to make sure all of our other productions are good to go. It should be okay, to be fair. Let's go check on them. See what, see how the batteries are doing. They should have a trickle power coming in. Yeah, they do. But yeah, we've got like loads of power over here. Like, if we can last a storm... We're not really pulling a lot of power, we're running it's like something like 15 kilowatts each on those two and then like 10 on the others. Yeah, we're the, the fine really. Our secondary uh, stuff. I've got 9 CO2 left in this. Don't even get through all of our CO2 balls really doing this. It's just time consuming. Stuff that you guys probably don't really want to see but... Just looking at like a back of a panel. Actually really nice to see like this type of stuff though. Like the They actually did a, a certainly good job with some of the models in the game, I'm not gonna lie. Not sure if they made the models themselves or not, but um they're good models. Whatever they are. Whoever made them. But yeah, I know that one of you guys actually bought the game because of my Let's Play. Um, I haven't actually, I don't think I've seen you in the comments for a while. I might have. Um, I might just be misplacing your name in my head for whatever reason. But uh, hopefully you're enjoying the game anyway, as much as I am. My gameplay is a bit boring though. Uh, but I do show you guys pretty much everything on how to survive in this place. It's, um, it can be fun. Uh, message. New message probe. Not sure if we see the probe coming down. No. We see the meteorites come down, which is quite cool actually. I'm not sure if those were added in this update. I think they were, right? I'm not really worried about the machines on the side, by the way. I'm just cleaning those there for the solar panels, really. Just so the solar panels can now uh, work during the day. I'm pretty sure like the, the solar panels work during the day, so it takes less out your batteries during the day, but then it pulls on a night for the uh, for the rest of it. 
There we go. We're done. We're clean. We're good to go. Right, and what we'll do is we'll refill our CO2 stuff. So, what we didn't use... Didn't use one. <laughs> so, we'll put that one back in there and we'll refill the rest. CO2. One, two, three. There we go. There's those sorted. Right, okay, so what else did I say I was going to do today? Kilowatt power if we could, right? But I think what we need to do is we need to build... Um... It'll be under power one or electricity. Um, yeah, we need to build one of these. It looks like we've got this already. Okay, cool. Right, okay, so I think what we'll do then is... I'm thinking about maybe putting it... Here. Or on off of those. I'm not sure how much power wires if it does repower yeah 40 okay i guess we don't have to run it all the time okay so let's have a look at this shall we guess we'll put it there like that so let's uh build her up got all of oh we don't have enough packs of screws or glass plates i thought we had glass plates on us I thought I picked up glass plates. Obviously, I didn't. Hmm. How strange. I thought I put the glass plates on me. Um. The glass plates are steel plates, they're aluminium, they're electronics. Where the hell did I put my glass plates? In the bottom of here, right, aren't they? There they are. Last place, I'm going to need more packs of screws. I think that's everything I need. Packs of screws I'll just carry. We're going to use uh, probably a lot of them on this anyway. I was also going to upgrade this tool, but I don't think we have the, um, the water call yet, do we? An extra tech point, or do we? No, we do. Uh, antenna control, not really interested. Um, automatic Glorak lifting we can grab, but we only got one point. I think we'll get Blowtorch uh, 3, I think, actually, when we go back in. We'll grab that. Oh, that should help us build a lot more things. Oh, I don't have my soccer ball box on me anymore, do I? Why? Right, let's go try and find my circuit ball box. One of these in here is my circuit ball box, which I accidentally took out my inventory. It'll be one of these three. Have a look. So it's not you. It's not you. It must be you. No, it's not you either. Where the hell have I put my circuit ball box? They're my repaired ones. I think these two are empty. Empty. And empty, yeah. So where the hell have I put my circuit ball box? I bet you I put it next door by mistake. Oh, I just put those in the wrong places as well. Down there with you. We need to go through all that stuff eventually as well. We'll go through it maybe tomorrow. Let me guess. One of you has got my circuit boards in. Not you. Alright. So one of these guys has got them in. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. There it is. 
Oh, which one was it? <laughs> that one. That one's my Sega Ball box. You know what I'm going to do as well? I'm just going to double check that one to make sure that one's not got Sega Boards in it. Yep, so that's my circle ball box, that one. Right, let's go back to building now, shall we? Now I've got all my stuff back. Didn't realise I even did that. One of you guys will probably be telling me, saying that you left your circle, you put your circle board somewhere you shouldn't have. Uh, right, how the hell does this work then? 40 kilowatts. <laughs> right, I guess let's plug her in. We should be able to pull 40 from this, no problem. Alright, let's just see if we can pull 40 to it, shall we? Well, actually, I don't even think we're pulling 40 exactly. Yeah, we're doing 50. So, let's do from this thing we should be okay to power this it's not going to be one of those things we power all the time either so um, these guys need to be on uh, let me just pull this I've lost my picture where's it at there it is these guys were all on 15 so you guys don't really need to be at 30. You guys only need to be at 15. Uh, so 15. Uh, 5 and 5. 5 and 5. And then hopefully the rest of this. So how much do we need? We need 40. Right, she should be on. Yep. So there we go. We got that. So it looks like these can have a five capacity each and then it produces uranium rods down here. So oh, right, let's go get some uranium. It needs five each. So let's just power it all up then. So five, 10, 15, 20. So we need 20. Yeah. My brain just didn't work there at all. Uh, so we've got six in here. Um, I'm sure we've got more somewhere. Where in the hell did I put the rest of the uranium? I think there's stuff in here, I think, still, right? From when we move stuff. Where did I put it, though? Was it in here? No. It wasn't in here. No. Where did I put all of my uranium stuff? I completely forgot where I put it all now. Where did I put all of the... Oh yeah. I remember now. Put it in here, didn't I? I remember now. Okay, well, what we'll do is we'll move all of this out to the rock crusher outside. Because that's where I'm going to be doing most of my 3D printing. I don't have enough to take the aluminium. God damn. Yeah, I don't have enough. <laughs> Um, what's this circuit ball box here? I do have enough. This circuit ball box can go in here. That's what I'll do. Is I'll just put uranium there for a moment. You can go in there. Right. What I'll do is I'll put that down there, I'll put that up there, and then what we'll do is we'll take the last little bit of aluminium out of here. And then that, that can go out in the outside uh, 3D printer instead. The only thing is I can't really make stuff inside, but I'm not really too fussed about that. Really. Right, let's put all of you in here. 
So, silicon, 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 silicon. Make that. Uh, that's iron, so that can go there. Aluminium can go there, along with the rest of it. Um, uranium can go here. And that can go there. So I need a total of, I said 20, didn't I? Right, that they can go back to over here. Make sure that this is all kosher. Yep, we're good. Right, let's start putting uranium in here, shall we? Five, 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 and five. Um, other than this, I'm not sure what we need to do. I'm guessing we need to do this. Which I'm guessing now fills up and takes time to do. And I guess the next thing we'll be doing is building possibly one of these bad boys. Which we need four uranium rods for. Wow, okay. It actually creates 88 power. Holy moly, that's actually quite a lot. So, I think what we'll do is I'm actually going to take this off of the main circuit and probably power this with one of these. And then maybe put like a smallish battery, maybe. Oh, should I put another battery in here? I'm just thinking about putting a battery here. With, an out with one output. Um. Battery pack. Do that there, maybe. Build this up. Got a small circuit board. Sure, I have a small circuit board in my uh, box of tricks. Ah, I've hit the bug again where I can't actually uh, can't open up the things. Ah, which means I'm probably not going to be able to open up any of these in here, am I? Let me guess, I'm not going to be able to open up either of these. Nope, that's a bug. That needs fixing. <sighs> and all my circuit boards are inside of those things, which means I need to reload the game, which means we're not going to be building the battery today. That's fine. What I'll do though instead is I'm actually going to build the, the the first one here just to like check it out if I can. I don't have the uranium rods though. Wow, these actually don't sit that uh, far above the ground, eh? Put it there for a minute. Can lower them down on the ground like that, but I'm thinking they need to be at like this height. Uh, where should I put it? Uh, I'm thinking let's maybe just put it here. I'm not sure if it gives us off any radiation or not, but it's uh, be just like a cool thing to like sort of check out, see how it works. Now these things process slowly then. Okay, so let's, um, let's just put all the materials in here to see what it's like. We're not going to have the uranium rods, but that's fine. Wow. What's it? it actually it doesn't cost a lot, actually. It costs a lot less than those wind turbines over there, actually. Which is not so bad. I guess like the, the main thing is, is really producing off of these guys. Yeah, these are going to take a while to produce these rods. So I guess we sort of just leave it for now and then until the rods are produced. And I need to reload the game to build another battery. So what I'm thinking about doing is just running the power down from there into the back of the battery and then powering this up. 
just for now and then taking that off like the main base power so we're not well we're saving base power then um instead of powering this thing up all the time and then that thing that thing can just get powered by this which should have more than enough and then just having like another spare battery here which we could probably maybe put that in series with this one maybe and then um maybe so we can power this off of uh nuclear power just for just for starters i guess we could probably pull um pull all of the um power requirements for these guys oh, wow that actually shot, shot a rocket at one point hmm interesting guess what i'm going to do though for now i'm just going to turn it off But right, okay, let's um let's go fill up our hydration. I guess what we'll do as well while we're waiting for the rest of the day to finish is I'll upgrade my tools. Or prepare one of my tools so then we can upgrade it in the morning. I was gonna do it yesterday's episode, but I sort of forgot. I also forgot to do the tablets um last week. <laughs> I know one of you guys went and you forgot the tablets again. I know. As soon as I stopped recording, I went, the tablets. The tablets. Water <sighs> it was too late to um, actually uh, Water to actually hit the recall button again. Right. Let's sleep and let's uh, wake up at about... We don't have enough food, eh? Okay, we should do. There we go, we're full full. Right, okay, let's uh, sleep until six. Should be enough, and I'm going to take a sip of my drink as well. Also just popped up there as well. Plants are ready to be replanted, so I guess we'll go check that out as well today. Um, but first things first, let's go see how far our kilowatt, our kilo power is coming in. We only need the uranium rods, so go check it. Sun's just coming up by the looks of it. I'm excited to see what this thing looks like. This thing looks like. Um, yeah, okay, we're not too far out, so we're going to get them today, which is good. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't think we're going to get um, like batteries rebuilt at all. all. Right, what we'll do is we'll go in and get our new tool, and then we'll go from there. Um, da -da -da -da, it's over here. So let's hit this. Right, and uh, we need to hit. I think it's this workbench. Uh, but it's turned off. I'm just going to double check to make sure that is the right workbench. Uh, yeah, it is. I'm going to get the Blowtorch 3 just so we can upgrade things. I think it's time I did that. Uh, so it is the. D -d 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 this one. I'm pretty sure. Or is this the wrong one? No, I turned on the wrong one. It was the one to the right of it. Always hard to remember the bloody order these guys are in. Right, let's have a look. So, blowtorch. Blowtorch 3. There we go. I've been wanting that for a while. It just helps build things faster. Mainly. And I like it. I don't think it's really a waste of a point, to be fair. We only have one of these guys, so... Right, let's watch this thing get upgraded, shall we? So it's going to go from orange to red. I really like the red tools in this game. They look quite good. Just something about this tool. Yeah. Take the red and the black. I like red and black mixed together. It's uh, quite nice. It's a nice color combination. Like red and black, I, I really like red and black. A lot of people don't, but uh, I really do. I really like red and black. Actually, that reminds me. Our suit's got a little bit too much silver on it. 
that's better. If I now press V, there we go. Red and black. My faves. Right. Um, let's go check on the uranium just to see how that's going. If that's not progressing, what we'll do is we'll go inside. We'll go see what things we've got. It's getting there. Okay, right. So what we'll do is we'll go inside. We'll go hit up uh, our plants. See what's going on in there. A lot backwards and forwards. I do apologize, but uh, my home's having some my let's plays. But yeah. Um, so not in here, and I'm hoping it's going to be in here. I think it's these guys. On stage three or four, so no, it's not them. Is it these guys in here? 33, yeah, it's these guys in here, so they're ready to come out. They grew incredibly quickly. I'm not going to lie. They grew really, really quick. I'm not complaining because um, it's going to be one of our food sources this so I am not complaining one little bit it just means that we're going to have to do a lot of plant actually we can get the big plant crate as well which we'll go make now I think after we've done this we'll go make the big plant crate Which means um, moving crops around is a little bit easier, a bit quicker too. Uh, these guys can get shut off. Getting the nice notification that plants are withering. They are not anymore. Right, uh, these guys aren't on growth stage um, four yet, so they need to wait. Let's, um, let's just take the plant crate out of my inventory. Uh, so plant crate is up here. What are we replacing it with that? Right. Let's just put that back in there. We're going to go make the big one now anyway. After we just checked on these guys in here, you guys are on 69%. So, yeah, you're getting there. We're not too far off of having uh, the best MREs in the game right now. Uh, where was I going? Thank crap. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell, but um, yeah, it's it's getting it's getting a little late. It's getting a little late. What time is it? This episode might actually end on the next day, actually. That's how late it is. Usually I don't record this late, but it has happened a couple of times in the last few weeks, so it's fine, though. Right. Um, we want... Um, uh, small plant crate, plant crate, and incubator. I'm sure we unlocked it. More plant crate. I think it's the plant crate actually we want. I'm pretty sure it's this one. I'm not sure how quick this is going to go. It's going to go slowly. So we see the 3D printer go there a little bit. So we'll keep that on screen. I think I'm out of water also. Which is not good. Yeah, I'm out. No water left in that bottle. Yeah, once I finish recording this episode, I'm going to record, uh, well, edit uh, this episode and the last episode. Um, I'm only doing two on Saturday, actually, this week. It's going to be weird recording three tomorrow. I'm going to feel like I'm proper busy tomorrow. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think I mentioned in the last episode, it's a bank holiday um, this week. Um, so, um, I've sort of got, like, Friday off. Which is nice. Oh, seems to have got stuck. There you go. Done. Uh, there we go. It's right there. So there we go. We now got a large plant crate. Let's check it out. 
Uh, so we hit number three. And then look down. Yeah, like look at look at the size of that. But there's a lot of plants in there. Which we can cycle between. Very, very nice. That's gonna come in very useful. At some point. <laughs> Um, but yeah, what we'll do is we'll go and go through here. I sometimes hate having to stop at those damn airlocks. When are you guys talking me into putting in those airlocks in the comments? <laughs> yeah. Fun. Anyway, there we go. There's our large plant crate, our small plant crate right next door to it. Um, some seeds there, but we're not really using those. Um, we've got potatoes in here we've got some lettuce we haven't got um we haven't got the cabbages yet which are right here we're going to be making about 20 of these hopefully from these guys once they're done uh these guys shouldn't take too long to grow either oh these guys are these guys oh okay yeah so they're going out in the dome as well okay but yeah th this is this here is our main plant production anything like um like beetroots or or beets um, we haven't actually had a harvest of beets in a while, so, um, the beets live in here. They're a secondary plant source, but we've got loads of them anyway, which we can, like, grow in here. So, that's, this is where they're going to grow, because they're only a two, they're only a two-tier plant, so, they come in here and grow in here. Um, these incubators are going to have, uh, potatoes in them, uh, they're also going to have, um, beets, which... Surprisingly, I'm not actually incubating any beets right now. So I think what we'll do is we'll actually collect our beets. We'll collect beets and we'll actually replant these guys. Just so then we've got um, a nice chunk of beets ready uh, to go for when we're making big um, MREs. I do like to have um, like two sets of plants going all at once so I like to have some in the incubator ready to harvest and then some ready to move from the incubator out just so then we've got like we're, like we're planned we're ready type of thing you know right uh, I need the seed modification station which should still be turned on because I didn't turn it off um because I like wasting power <laughs> um let's split this stack in two we're not going to do that many, so let's split the stack again. Uh, 22. Uh, can I do 24? Uh, one more. Yep, yeah, there we go. Close the raw. And we'll actually turn it off now, just so we're not wasting power. Which one is it, though? Uh, see modification session. There she, there she is. Right, and what we'll do with the rest of the beats is we'll just pop those in here for now, and uh, just so they're somewhere safe. And we'll go replant these guys next door. A lot of planting and a lot of um, kilowatt power stuff uh, in this episode. Hopefully our uranium rods are now done. We'll go check those out here in a minute. We're just sort of killing time a little bit. Um, that one there. What day are we on here? We're on 74. That uh, should be fine. Right, there we go. So we should be able to just turn on these guys. There we go. Right. These guys should be fine to do the thing. Keep those guys growing. Keep progressing. Completely forgot that I need to plant um plant those guys. You guys are slacking. Usually you guys tell me some good things which I miss and you missed that one. <laughs> Right, uh, we are good here. Um, right. 
I guess what we'll do then is we will hopefully go outside now and see that our uranium rods are done. I'm hoping. It's now midday. Well, it's actually one o'clock in the afternoon nearly. These guys should be done. They are. Get in. Right, okay. I think I had two anyway. But, um, yeah. Right. Do this thing, shall we? Here we go. The last four uranium rods. There we go. This thing is now on, I believe. I think. Not sure. I guess what we'll do is we'll take this bad boy off of base power. Just dump that there for a minute. Now watch me run out of these. There you go. Come out. I think I've got some sitting around in a box still, so. That took a minute for that door to open, didn't it? Right, uh, in here I think. Yep, there we go. 99. Loads of power cable. Don't really need to worry about power cable at all at the minute. And plus it's fairly cheap to make. For resources, that is. For resources, it's fairly cheap to make. Right, okay, let's grab you again. All the way over here and in. And that there should be powering this bad boy up with no issue whatsoever. Yep. So, there you go. There is one of those things. Now, I'm guessing probably placing one right next to it is probably going to be a bit tricky. Let's uh, give it a go, shall we? So... Actually, no, it's not too bad. Just like another one, like, right there. So they sort of do overlap a little bit. Actually, that's not on the same level, but... They're actually not so bad. I wonder if it's maybe it's worth... Oh, like this thing here takes like 40. So, and I think it, I think all of them only give me four. So like, it costs like five uranium rods to get one. Uh, sorry, five, five uranium just to get one rod. Yeah, that's... Well, yeah, that's not really cheap, is it, really? Just knock that down to zero. Just so it's not wasting power. But yeah, like we can probably power two of those things, two of these things, off of one of those. So I guess what we really need to do now then is uh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get ready for a screenshot here. I'm just gonna go uh screenshot. There you go. That's probably gonna be the episode thumbnail for this. I think what I might do is I might actually well, these guys do like 40 power each so to do what's its output output is let me have a look 88 so I think what we might do is I can't build a transformer can I balls because I need uh, the I need um, what's it called out of my inventory I'm thinking what we might do is we might just pop this here. I'm going to build it as much as I can. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two of these side by side. For now. And I'm going to try and build as much uranium as I can. Um, where should I put it? There like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get uranium power to power these things. Which then will in turn power more. But yeah. So we'll run power from that into that. Which will split into two. Which will run into that and that. Which will then in turn stop power on this. Oh right. Let me just set these back to normal. So let me just set this back to 50. Because we're going to, we're going to remove... I'm going to remove this bad boy here.
and then we'll knock this back up to uh, 15, 30, 30, uh, I think it was 15, 10, 10 and 10. There we go. So those guys are getting power back to normal and um, that's outputting the same power which means we shouldn't be using up as much but we, to be honest with you, powering this thing off of this is probably a bit overkill. Um, well, power on this is a bit overkill, but I'm, I'm trying to keep power in a certain way to where we're, it makes sense. Obviously, like main base power is sort of like critical systems. I'm also thinking about putting another battery bank in here, which I might actually do. I think on the on my last season, I had um, I have four battery packs power in the main base. I think that's what we're going to do now. Um, then we know for definite we've got um, more than enough um, power. Which, I, to be honest with you, I think we've got. I think we're producing enough power now to where we're probably safe for majority of things. But uh, yeah, I won't be able to do much with this. Let me just. Uh, this you. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to build you because you're going to require. Um, a small circuit board which I can't do because the um the goddamn things glitched out and I don't think I can put down another one of these I don't think I put a battery upgrade in until I build it no I can't so yeah that's what we'll do is I think we'll move the uh, have four batteries for the main base which uh to be honest with you like the main base doesn't really use that much power throughout the day and these guys these bad boys are absolutely chugging out as max amount of uh Power it possibly can, I think. No, it isn't. This one's the only one I tend to mess with, but um, like two f um, 250 right now out is more than enough. But what we'll do is I'll just increase this out to its max. Just so then it can push enough power to the other battery. But you know what? A little bunch of nines. <laughs> It'll do. Would actually be really cool as well, like if they actually maybe with batteries like uh, over time, like like over maybe I don't know, like say 60, 70, 80 souls, um, they like sort of like start to wear down or something. You have to repair them. That would be cool. Uh, what did I come back in here for? I came in here for something. Don't re I don't recall. Yeah. Um. So kilowatt power is coming along nicely actually. Um, to be honest with you, I might actually replace some of these solar panels. But um, yeah, the solar panels are actually producing a lot, a lot of power right now. Like a lot, a lot of power. Oh, oh actually, what we'll do is we'll um, we'll connect up these guys. We'll connect up these guys. These guys here should start giving me enough power during storms. I was going to do this a while ago and I sort of forgot to do it. Oh, need more small pipes. Of course we do. I've got loads. <laughs> loads of small pipes. Might actually have to do some recycling eventually as well. But I think what we'll do in tomorrow's episode, I think what we'll do is we'll start prepping to maybe go out and about. So we'll probably go out and check out some bits and pieces. But then what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll actually go out. out. Uh, I guess I'll take two. In case. Probably going to come back for other stuff anyway, but. What you have a base for with a lot of uh, kit in it. Yeah, hugging all these guys up here should give us enough power to, like, sort of sustain ourselves during storms. And then I'd, it's one of those things, like, a little bit less thing I need to worry about for power reasons. I'm also going to go check the power consumption of the base. Right, how many is over here? One, two, three, four, four. I'm going to have to move everything over four. So. One, two, three, four. I'm just doing this to make it look tidy. And not a mess, and it makes sense if I ever need to come back over here. 
Right, so uh, I think we'll do this one next. So it's at number five. This one here, so that one goes in there. Uh, this one here. Uh, number five. I don't remember which bloody button I put everything on. And yeah, we'll do this one. Trying to make the wire runs look as neat as I possibly can. It's not going to look the best, but I don't really come over in this, this back section much, so it doesn't really matter. There we go. Right. So, yeah, these guys have got... Yeah, they've got like 56 power. Kilo, it's 56 um, kilowatts um, going back to the batteries, though, which is not bad. It's not shabby. Nothing to be laughed at, but um, hey, it, every little helps, right? Everything what can do that. So like 56, how much is how much is a solar panel currently uh, giving me? Uh, solar panel is giving me uh, 42. So 42, and I'm getting what? Uh, 56. That's like that is a whole panel right there. One of those guys. Now, I'm, what is the actually base on these guys? So 30, one 46. Yeah, we've actually got a hell of an increase on these guys. To be honest with you, like I don't actually need to plant any more of these. Just with that one skill we got with the more official panels too. Yeah, we actually we've done a lot, like a lot, a lot. Right, so. Uh, what we're going to do tomorrow uh, is probably build out the rest of these batteries. Um, so we've got more capacity for the base. Um, we'll build a battery here, um, which will power that. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this back to the base power. Um, and then this here will power these guys, which will hopefully then in turn start powering the rest of my... Um, well, I think we're going to start setting up this as, like, base power, probably. Maybe. Probably not right now, but um, who knows. When, if we go out away from our base and stuff, I might actually start taking some of these materials with me. Um, just in case I need to build a little rig to power up the um, the, the heavy rover. Um, by the way, just so one of you guys was saying, I need to press V. No, it's not V. N. The night vision. There's a night vision for you. Um, very, very green. I'm, I'm not sure how well that's going to come out on, um, on YouTube. But um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> when you guys wanted me to uh, try them out, and I sort of forgot last week, and uh, you commented again this week about them. So there you go. Um, not sure how well it's going to come out on camera. I might need to change my color correction. I do have a sort of a roundabout color correction what i use for this game um but yeah th this might actually be really good for like at nights driving around um being in third person and stuff but yeah i think one thing we need to really work on is oh wow that's that's weird don't like it um <laughs> i think one thing i do need to work on though is actually that unlocking some more stuff in here because we've actually got a lot of stuff in here which we can unlock now um i'm probably not going to get the motocross bike just because i don't think i'll ever use it um radio it means i can change what songs on uh, i think this song i've got like the content id claim on uh, a few times uh, i think it's this song i'm pretty sure it is um the at rocket engine is not really something i want to go for yet um, I think we can spend those points elsewhere first. Actually, we've not really got that much. But uh, yeah, it looks like they've got quite a few cool bits and pieces in common. So it looks like they've done some more work on the um, on the little uh, rover thing. Uh, not the rover thing, but, like the little robot thing. So they've got like two of those coming up. Um, yeah, I think what we will be doing though is I think we'll start to get like the miners and stuff. Actually, let's go unlock those now while we've got a few minutes. 
Um, there's another thing I want to get, but we're going to have to um, get some other bits in place first. But yeah, we're actually starting to get to the actual content of this update, which is actually really interesting. And I've got no power. Which which one was that in? Again, just remind me. Uh, material store. It's not this one. It is this one, which is off. Uh, this one. Let's get the miner. Miners. So let's grab you. You. And I think that is everything. I think. So these miners will come in useful. Oh yeah, that's that's everything in here now as well. So until next update we're gonna unlock fast travel next by the looks of it so maybe it'll fast travel between bases or something maybe i don't know that'll be cool save all the time walking but yeah we've now got what would that come under probably resources right yeah we've now got like these miners now we've got the small miner we've got like a big miner which to be fair actually doesn't really cost that much stuff it costs a lot of aluminium oh we need uranium rods as well oh okay this is where we're going to actually have to start grinding out uranium rods which takes about a good day and a half to do that's interesting okay okay so that's where the uranium rods are coming from oh we're going to be using uh looks like our o2 is running a little low so i guess what we'll do is we'll switch those two out and we'll fix our hydration as well um we'll do that in a minute uh, I guess what we'll do though, first things first, we'll just fill up our oxygen bottle. Just so we're full, ready to go. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the series and where we want to go. Uh, obviously we're going to get start getting miners out and about and stuff. Uh, mining, hopefully aluminium, I think is going to be hopefully the first big main resource we mine. If I can find a vein of it. So, um, I think in the... Uh, actually, do we have the Spectral Detector 3 yet? Um, because I think we need that um, for what we need to do. Um, is it in here? No, it's not. It's in here. I'm pretty sure. Where is it? Jackhammer 3. No, it's Jackhammer 3. Do we already have it? I think we do. For some strange reason, I think that we do. 3? No. 4. Yeah, we do. We have it. Okay, so yeah, this is fine. We should be able to find things like um, uh, like veins underground. Uh, the, we have the update for the rover as well, which um, should help out. But um, yeah, other than that, I think this is actually a good place to end this one here, actually. Um, so tomorrow's episode, we'll probably start heading out. We might actually go do some... Um, some of these guys try and get some more probes meteorites and stuff like that um there's a few around olympus mons but um yeah uh, i think some of those are bugged as well as they're on top of the mountain we're not going to go do those if we can't uh well we're not going to do them yet anyway but um we'll probably do them later on but yeah we'll hunt around for some mines maybe so i might mark up a couple of spots for that as well as we drive around but uh other than that, I'm actually going to go ahead and end this one right here. It's actually the next day, so I'm actually going to be recording again today. Um, <laughs> uh, so, uh, three more episodes for you guys, but um, yeah, other than that, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, hit the like button. If not, there's a dislike button right next door. Hit subscribe if you guys haven't already. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.